Hello everybody, it's Gwethon from Gwethon's Games and today I'm going to be running the Silent Street. And I'm going to be running it at level 100. Okay, it has a minimum level of 75 and I'm going to be running it with my Runekeeper. Okay, I'll just get down to here and before I face these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got. So I'm running red line with enough blue to get into the Rune of Restoration and enough yellow to get into a decent uh, lightning rune, but I'm mainly running red line, which is the volcanic rune. And well, I've got Mending Verse in there uh, and a few other things. Epic for the Ages, I've got some nice healing sitting in there with this character. I'm mainly running Red Line with damage over time and, and uh, combustion damage and things like that. Okay, so, uh, and the character itself is running basic level 120 gear hasn't really upgraded anything beyond level 120 so it's although I'm level 125 it's really only level 120 gear okay let's go in there and talk now as you can see I have the three Vulc the three runes set right at the start for most battles then some healing and then some smoldering wrath essence of flame and combustion if I really need it Okay, and the cooldown on that is reasonable for the lightning, but let's just take some more out. Drop the lightning, okay. You can see what happens if I don't use the volcanic runes. Oh, let's go back to the volcanic runes. The runes. One, two, three. And we'll just tidy up. There we go. And here's the first boss. Wait for the runes to regenerate and wait for him to turn red. Okay, let's start off with the essence of flame just to get things going. Okay, now I'll drop the runes now that everyone's coming in. I'll do the healing. Essence of flame to tidy things up and we'll try a combustion. Okay, Linotar is still in there. We'll get back to dropping some of the runes, which is nice. You can see they're busy fighting the runes, which is great. Let's go for another combustion. More runes. More healing. runes 
Okay, now we're getting the gloom of Nern. We have one of the riders of the nine. Okay, so now we have the second area. Now these little uh, din and lights are going to uh, cause fear if you stay around them too long. So I'm not going to stay around them too long. I'm going to drop rune stones and keep running. If I get more attackers, I'll drop more rune stones. I'll do some here. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's get a whole heap of these. More rune stones. And some healing. Okay, now, the idea is to find the Risen King on this side, and have to keep moving. There he is. Okay, let's go for it. Heels. Do some damage. Drop the runestone when it's time. Let's do some more heels. See if we can get a combustion out. Okay, I've got fear, which is always the way, but I'll drop my healing. It's nice to have heal over time, so you don't have to worry so much about the fear. Okay, that's one gone. Now let's go and see about the others. We're still in combat for some reason. Hasn't dropped me out. That's okay. We'll go, yeah, now you will eventually go in that direction, but at the moment, I have to go and find the other fallen king, risen king. Now I'm not going to get too many of these. Sometimes you can just get too many and it just, you, you don't survive because there's just too many attacking. Captain, oh, I still have a stone worker to take out. Now, as, as I, I may have said, the, having all of these rune stones, they are really good at acting as a tank, drawing aggro. Okay, so okay, let's take the captain out and let's see if we can find the other one. Now, it 
has it gone this way? Doesn't look like it has. So I haven't missed it. I will see if I can find it. They do do a circuit. it so I think I'll go back the other way. Oh, it doesn't look to be that way. Okay, we'll go the, go up and around. As I said it still thinks I'm in combat, which is fine. There we go. think a bit more healing I think keep dropping those runes and keep doing the healing there we go okay that's the second one done Unfortunately, I cannot get, a th get rid of the bite of the Morgul Blade. So I am going to have to heal myself. And keep healing myself. Until we get to get rid of it. Six more seconds. Okay, let's keep going. So that's the second boss done. Should be able to get the chest just up here. And then we have the, oh, I can't do it in combat, it's not letting me. Ah, there we are. There's someone that's in. There will be some dialogue before we actually get to the next bit. Okay, I'm out of combat. Good. I can get the small chest. Okay, now this is the final boss, which is the Fell Rider, but we have to take each one of these out first. Now, the corrupted version of those, the ones that were there before, are difficult. So we have to take those out, so where are they? There he is. Okay, that's one. Now let's have some fun with these ones as well. I'll just run in there and drop it. Do the healing. Drop the combustion. If I can, oh, I got feared. Luckily, it's still going for the rune. Okay, let's go back. Okay. 
feared again, but they're going to go for the rune stones. Heal. Take it out if I can. Okay, that's one. Let's see if I can get the other. More fear. I should have taken that other one out. Okay, so where is the other one? There it is. That's the one that's causing me hassle. Okay, that's gone. around the other way just to make sure that there isn't another one okay no it looks like we're fine now okay i will have some food because this is relatively close and then we can take these on is going to get me. Nice bit of stun there. And I'm going to get him. final boss the gloom of Nern this is going to be interesting Oh, get out of there. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Drop some more rune stones. Heal as much as possible. If I get the opportunity to do some damage, I will. Get back again to get out of that out of that damage area. Keep going with the healing. I'm going to have 
have to run. That's the way of it. Can't get out any further. Drop the rune stones if possible. Get some healing done. Heal as much as possible. Get out of that area. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to make this. Fear, of course. I wonder if I'm going to make it. I don't think I am. Oh, it's going to be close. See why I like to have the multiple rune stones. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. fairly shortly. find a tracer route to get to the chest which I can <laughs> now you may have seen Gandalf and Perry Perryman oh, I'll go through that okay and there they are so this is the end of the fighting so this is just this is a essentially a cut scene between these two going and finding, confronting Denethor on the pile of wood and on the pile of wood is the corpse of Faramir. So I will let that play itself out. Um, put the names up for everyone. But yes, that's Gandalf the White, Denethor and Faramir. There's some guards here and Beragond who's the one that led them up there to to uh, find Faramir who's not dead. So of course Denethor has been has seen a palantir, been staring into a palantir and believes everything is bleak, uh, which you have actually done at his behest, which has two of the epic battles as part of it. But okay, so Gwethon, Gwethon, Gandalf now has 
Faramir's body. And it gives some insight into why Denethor would want to uh, sacrifice Faramir for the loss of Boromir. the torch. It's time to get out of there. Okay, and that is the Silent Street. Thank you everyone for watching, and we will catch you in the next episode, in the next video. Bye all.